Hello everyone. So welcome back again. And now we are going to do the configuration of BGP protocol. So the FortiGate firewall will be used as a virtual router, and we will do the configuration of BGP in between the ISP router and the FortiGate firewall. Okay. So I already have provided the IP address to the interfaces port two and port three of the FortiGate firewall. Let's see. So let me go to the FortiGate firewall. Uh, put the username and password, and here I already have provided the IP address to the interfaces. Okay, so go to network and click over the interfaces. So these are the interfaces on which I already have provided the IP address. As you can see, that uh, uh, port number two that is connected to the local area network has an IP address one ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot one. And this is the subnet marks and the allowed uh, protocols and services are being HTTPS and SSH. And another one is WAN port on which I have provided the IP address. And these are the permissions allotted. Now what we have to do? We have to do the configuration of BGP. So here I have taken the AS number that is 100 and AS 200 on other side. So we are going to do the configuration of IBGP in between these two. The Pairing of IBGP. Okay, so these are the IP address that will be involved in doing the configuration. One ninety two dot one six eight dot twenty dot one and one ninety two dot one six eight dot twenty dot two that is connected to ISP side. Okay, let's start doing the configuration. So now let's do the configuration of BGP. So for that you have to go to network first of all and click over the BGP. Okay, dear. First of all, it will ask you the AS number. So let's go to the topology. On topology, we have AS number one hundred to be allotted. So let's allot this the AS one hundred. So it will ask you the router ID. So let me give the router ID one dot one dot one dot one. Okay. Now it is asking you the neighbor. Okay. So neighbor is what one ninety two dot one six eight dot twenty two dot two remote AS. Is two hundred. Okay. Let me provide this. Create new. Okay. IP address for the neighbor is one ninety two dot one six eight dot dot twenty dot two. Then AS number is two hundred. Okay. So you can leave blank the password. Don't need to provide the password over here. Okay. So after this, does a don't need to change anything except of this update source, and you have to click on. Okay, over here. Okay, dear. So BGP is configured over here, in between these two. And uh, now click on apply. So setting save successfully. You have to advertise the network in this. So how you can uh, advertise the networks over here? So click on networks. So one ninety two dot one six eight. So in the network. We have two networks that is to be allotted over here: one ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot zero and one ninety two dot one six eight dot twenty dot zero. Let's provide the information of both of these networks. Okay. So one ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot zero slash twenty four. Another network that is one ninety two dot one six eight dot twenty dot zero slash twenty four. Dear. Please don't forget to provide the subnet mask also. So we have provided the information of both the networks. Now you have to click over apply. So setting has been saved successfully. Now we have to do the configuration on the router side. Let's do the configuration of BGP on the router side. So let's go to the router configure terminal router BGP that is two hundred. Neighbor that is one ninety two dot one six a dot twenty dot one remote AS is remote AS is one hundred. Okay, network that is one ninety two dot one six a dot twenty dot zero and mask is two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Another network is one ninety two dot one six a dot forty dot zero that is belong to the loopback and one ninety two dot one six a dot thirty dot zero. Okay. So we have provided the network information also to both of these interfaces. According to that, 
and advertises the network in between these two. Okay. Now let's provide the IP address to the PC there. How we can do that? So Windows will be open. One two three will be the password. Then let's move forward. Go to the Windows. Okay, and open the run. Click over run. Okay, in the run, put ncpa.cpl. This is the network connection. Go to properties and uh, here click over the TCP IP version four. So IP address will be one ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot two two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero one ninety two dot one six eight dot ten dot one. And these are the DNS IPs. Okay, so we have provided the IP address over here. Now what is next here? The remaining configuration is the policy creation in between these two. So let's advertise the WAN interface and LAN interface in the policy. Okay. So let's go to the FortiGate firewall again and let's create the policy. So click over the policies and object firewall policy. Okay. Now create new policy name is what BGP. Okay. So incoming interface is the local area network. Outgoing interface is the wide area network port three. So mention that incoming is port two and outgoing is port three interface. Okay. Now the source will be allowed all the permission and in destination allow all. Okay. Then in service you also have to click over all. Okay, dear, and click over. Okay, so the new policy will be created over here. After that, what you should do, we will try to ping the loopback IP address from this PC. So let's go to the PC, Windows PC, and go to the CMD command prompt. Put a command ping 192.168.20.2. So you can see that this is pinging successfully. So our configuration is successful now. Okay, dear. Let me try to ping another one. Ping 192.168.30.40.1 loopback one. So it is also pinging. So our configuration is successful in between the router and the firewall. So this is how you can do the configuration of BGP in between these two. So that is all about the routing, dear. So later on we are going to do the redistribution also. Okay. So basically the in redistribution we will advertise the multiple protocols to each other like OSPF and BGP, right? So later on we will do that. So till now, have a nice day, everyone.